Hello dear friends, here is the olive we have made. Uh, it's already been opened a few minutes ago and I have tried the first because at the beginning I was thinking maybe it's not good enough and do not deserve a video. But uh, it totally taken by surprise. It takes me by surprise that it turns out to be so, 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 so good. I am very, very happy. And uh, it's not just uh, something that you do that makes you feel good because you made yourself. And it is truly very, very good. And uh, <clears throat> so here we will take a look and try it. So this one is uh, my my family. My husband has marked it, and I did not do so delicate job. Market olive October, October, October twenties, October twenty. Oh no, October two thousand twelve. So so this year we we bought it around October time, and we made it in October. So whichever date it's around that time, not exactly. Mm. And it is so very good. I will show you what we have inside. Clean it a little bit. So you have seen already that this one soaked into salty water for for four weeks or five weeks around that time, and then we put um, <clears throat> we boil some brine, 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 brine. We boiled brine. The brine include salt, vinegar, and uh, and spice. We have uh, we had uh, we had uh, um, mustard seed. Let's see if I can show you. Mustard seed here, mustard seed and mustard seed, black and yellow mustard seed, cumin seed. Mostly the 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 herbs we can find and not too offensive. Some herbs I like, and we put on the not on the a mustard seed and uh, and the cumin seed and. Um, Estragon, estragon, a uh, tarragon. Tarragon is fresh from our backyard, and the chive, ciboulette from our backyard, and uh, uh, oregano from our backyard. So as much as possible, we choose the fresh herbs, and I think this one I put a, a tiny bit of sugar because um, a little bit of sugar it's always enhanced the flavor and the lemon this one does not have uh, garlic and other things we had another one with garlic it's also very very good i do not eat garlic but uh, that one i ate and it was so good so let's take a try i clean the spoon so that you know. and uh, you see it it is still a little bit crunchy and the taste is so wonderful. And at the top, we put uh, uh, olive oil. And what I have learned from this experience is that do not compromise. Use the best material ever you, you can find. And uh, we use uh, real sea salt and we use some uh, vinegar. I forgot which vinegar, but uh, but we use a, a, a garden lemon and really uh, extra virgin olive oil. I think uh, some good material finally turns out to be good. Anyway, it's uh, it's still crunchy and uh, and so good. Mm. Sorry. Oh, it is so good. I'm sorry. <laughs> and the ori uh, um, rosemary, homaha, oh, this is so good.
I'm sorry, it takes me so long to chew it because I do not want to I want I do not want to waste any bit of it. I want to enjoy it totally. And uh, you do not need to put a lot of olive oil you just to cover cover it up so that uh, it um, it seals it can it kind of seals uh, separate the 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 air from coming in anyway this is so good i am so happy i need to take a picture and do a blog now i'm doing a lot of blog on my on my painting and uh, and the food and uh, yeah, you can check it out. I will do a, a detailed process of it. Thank you very much. I am so, so, so happy. Bye-bye, friends.